Today we have discussed about the anesthesia tracts. Okay, previous class we can see the sedatives and hypnotics which is acting on the nervous system. So today the anesthesia tracts are very very important drugs in the clinical purpose. Okay, first before going to the advice of anesthesia tracts, first what do you mean by the anesthesia? Anesthesia. Anesthesia is a reversible property of loss of sensation. Reversible property of loss of sensation. Called anesthesia. Anesthesia is defined as it is a reversible property of temporary loss of sensation. It is called anesthesia. Okay. Anas that may be either local or it may be general. That is called anesthesia. What do you mean by general anesthesia and what do you mean by local anesthesia? This is a loss of sensation. Either it may be general or local. Okay. What do you mean by the general anesthesia? In general anesthesia, there is a reversible loss of sensation along with loss of consciousness. That is called general anesthesia with required skeletal muscle relaxants. That is called general anesthesia. Loss of sensation, then loss of consciousness along with skeletal muscle relaxant. That is called general anesthesia. What do you mean by local anesthesia? Local anesthesia blocks nerve conduction okay local anesthesia blocks the nerve conduction when administered locally nerve tissues that is called local anesthesia the main difference of general and local is like this here there is a loss of consciousness here there is no loss of consciousness skeletal muscle relaxants there is no but there is a loss of sensation there is a loss of sensation on the particular part of the body where we have to administer that is difference between general and local anesthesia next we can discuss about the classification of this general and local anesthesia see this is classification of general anesthesia and local anesthesia in this general anesthesia loss of consciousness loss of uh, sensation along with the skeletal muscle relaxation so what happens first one is Inhalation anesthesia and intravenous. Inhalation means through nose only, the anesthesia will be given in the, uh, the major OT theatres. So, in this inhalation anesthesia, some gases and some liquids. In gases, this example of this uh, gases is halogene, isofluorine, and ether. These are the three examples of comes under this gases of inhalation anesthesia. Then liquids, example that is called enfluorine. This is the main examples which is comes under the liquids of the inhalation anesthesia. The gases, sorry, I can uh, some small uh, mistake here. The gases is comes that is nitric oxide NO and cyclopropane xenon. This is the two examples of gases and liquids that is halogene, isofluorine ether and n fluorine. These are the examples of liquid. Okay, small confusion here. Only this is gases, nitric oxide and cyclopropane and liquids. Halogene, isofluorine ether and n-fluorine. These are comes under the, this is all about liquids and this is about gases. Okay, next. I intravenous, administering intravenous only we can lose alter the level of consciousness. Because why is, before going to be any surgical procedure such as abdominal hysterectomy, in such cases we can give the general anesthesia. So IV also they can give. First one is inducing dissociative anesthesia, neuroleptic analysis and benzodiazepines. In this inducing theobentanal sodium, previous class I will say this theobentanal sodium injection comes under the barbiturates which is inducing the anesthesia. Next, propofol and etomodate. These are the three examples comes under the inducing anesthesia that is given the intravenous anesthesia. Next, disassociative anesthesia, ketamine this is the main example for this disassociative anesthesia. Neuroleptic analgesia that is fentanyl plus drop eridol. This is the one example comes under the neuroleptic analgesia. Then benzodiazepines. In the previous class we can discuss very well about this benzodiazepines and non-benzodiazepines. Example: diazepam, lorazepam, and nitrazepam. Okay, this is all about the entire classification of only general anesthesia. Understand? The question asked here, classify, define anesthesia and classify anesthesia along to explain the any one of side effects and indications of general anesthesia they ask. So while writing this, 
definition of anesthesia right after that the classification of general and local anesthesia right okay what is the classification of local anesthesia next step. see this is See, this is local anesthesia, the classification. Local anesthesia means it will block the nerve conduction of the peripheral nerve. Okay, and the, when you address the administration of the nerve tissues, that is called local anesthesia. According to two classifications, mainly according to clinical use and according to the structure of local anesthesia. According to clinical use, which is mostly used in the clinical side, hospital side, that is classified into surface anesthesia and injectable anesthesia. Surface and what is called surface anesthesia means there is infiltration of surface of the skin that is called surface anesthesia. Example, we can more familiar with the injection called Diglogain 2%. That is called example comes out of the surface anesthesia. Along with that, cocaine, tetrakine, and benzokine. These are the along three examples of the surface anesthesia. Injectable anesthesia. In injectable anesthesia, based on their potency, they classify into three types. Short acting with low potency, intermediate acting with uh, intermediate action, long acting with high potency. Okay, the examples of short acting with low potency means procaine and chlorprocaine. These are two examples comes under the short acting with low potency. Intermediate action with uh, intermediate act, intermediate acting with intermediate action that is called dignogen and articane. This is the two examples comes under this intermediate action. Long action with high potency that is called Dubuagain, very very important drug which is used in the NCH hospitals that is in NCH OT in particular you can give the spinal anesthesia along with the surgery also. They are used this Dubuagain, this high potency with long acting drug. So that is why they are given in the spinal anesthesia. Next, second, according to structure, esters and amines, based on the structure they classified in after the basal structure, esters and amides, esters, cocaine and cocaine, amides, they are lipokin and dubuokin. This is the classification of local anesthesia. Okay, this is comes up, this is for five marks. Definition and classify anesthesia, that is general and local. Next question is, in the 10 marks only, explain uh, side effects and therapeutic uses of any one of general anesthesia. They ask, what we have to write? First, general anesthesia. G A we can call it. Okay, under G A. A definition you have to write. General anesthesia. You get reversible property loss of sensation along with loss of consciousness with skeletal muscle relaxation. Called general anesthesia. This definition right. After that, there will be a stages. Stages of general anesthesia. G A. What are the stages of G A? First stage. First one is. Four stages will be there, total. First one is stage of analgesia. Stage of analgesia. Next. Stage of delirium. Next. Stage of surgical procedure or surgical anesthesia. Okay, next, stage of medullary paralysis. This is concerned with this general anesthesia. After definition, stage of general anesthesia. Stage of analgesia. It begins with the, it begins with the loss of consciousness. That is called stage of analgesia. Means, while well, after inhalation of the general anesthesia to loss of consciousness. That is called stage of analgesia. Administration of uh, this uh, inhalation anesthesia to loss of consciousness. This is comes under stage of analgesia. Next, stage of delirium. It begins with loss of consciousness to before beginning of this surgical anesthesia. Okay, that is comes under stage of delirium. Okay, next. Stage of surgical anesthesia. Here in stage of delirium, after administering of this inhalation anesthesia, they lost their consciousness. So then next in delirium, what happens? Here the patient can shouting and here the patient can violent behavior and aggressive behavior. 
Loss of reflexes, skeletal muscle relaxation and respiratory depression. That is in the surgical anesthesia. And next, last one is medullary paralysis. In medullary paralysis stage, what happens is if there is a overdose of an anesthesia, overdose of anesthesia, the total respiratory failure, cardiac arrest and finally the patient will be going to the death. That is called medullary paralysis. Why? Because the medulla oblongata is only the main respiratory center which involves and also vasomotor center which can able to maintain the cardia and respiratory. So that's why medullary paralysis is overdose. This is all about sense of anesthesia. General anesthesia. Next, we move on to the main classification of already knowing. Next, one I will take an example. Still, I will take the inhalation anesthesia like allotin. Anyone they ask. Whatever it may have to write, I will take halothin. Example, halothin. Halothin. This is the inhalation anesthesia. Okay, comes up first. Mechanism of action. See, yesterday what we can, uh, what previous class, what we have to discuss about that, what bar barbiturates and benzodiazepines. See, the type of mechanism of action will be there. Same like that. One administering this through inhalation go to the bloodstream and enter process the blood brain barrier that is called BBP and what the initiative there it will stimulate the GABA receptor stimulate the GABA that is glutamyl amino glutaric acid it is one of the neurotransmitter then activation of this GABA okay after that there is a opening of uh, Cl minus ions channel. Then after that, there is the entry of Cl minus ions from outside to inside. Okay, next continuation. After entry, after entry, there is the inhibition of neuronal firing. Finally, CNS depression. Okay, this is the main mechanism of action of this general anesthesia. I will take example of allergy. That all general anesthesia mechanism of action is this only. What the previous class I will tell. Stimulate the GABA receptor, activation of GABA, opening of calcium ion channel, entry of calcium ion from outside to inside, inhibition of the neuronal firing and CNS will be the depressors. Then they can go to the surgical procedure. This is about the mechanism of action. Then pharmacological actions of this halogen also say that is the first one is on that is pharmacological action PA that first one is CNS, CVS, respiratory and smooth muscles and skeletal muscle relaxant. Same what the previous case I will tell the uh, pharmacological action that is the same only. Inducing first it is called uh, comes up first drowsiness, next inducing sleep, next sedation. After that, anesthesia effect and finally coma and death. That is comes under CNS. Okay. Next, cardiovascular system. You can ask on the vasomotor center which is present in our brain. And that leads to what happens here? Hypotension and bradycardia, respiratory depression on the medulla oblongata it will act and then smooth muscle relaxes and skeletal muscle relaxes. This is a pharmacological action. Okay. And next. And after that, the main that is side effects of this allergy. Before going to that, we can discuss about the therapeutic users. Therapeutic users. First one is, you know that, Anesthesia. Okay, and also along with that, Anesthesia, and also we can give in the, the, that local type of law. So that's why, uh, that is called as, Neuroepileptic syndrome. Okay, these are the main two therapeutic uses of this anesthesia. Next, uh, that is called side effects. Side effects is main of the side effect of disease called already I will tell you that is called as respiratory depression and hypotension, bradycardia. Okay, and there may be chances of decreasing 
एचआर हार्ट रेट एंड देयर इज मे अपनिया ओके यू बिकॉज ऑफ एन ओवरडोज ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ स्लीप आर समटाइम्स नेक्स्ट रेस्पिरेटरी फेलियर कार्डियक अरेस्ट फाइनल लीड्स टू डेथ दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस दिस रेस्पिरेटरी डिप्रेशन हाइपोटेंशन रेडिकार्डिया डिक्रीज इन हार्ट रेट अपनिया बिकॉज ऑफ ओवरडोज देयर इज सक्सेशन ऑफ दिस मेडुलरी पैरालिसिस ड्यू टू मेडुलरी पैरालिसिस देन व्हाट हैपेंस आफ्टर दैट cardiac arrest respiratory failure and finally leads to death this is all about the side effects of this anesthesia general anesthesia and local anesthesia one i will clear that the one they ask if they ask sir what is the mechanism of local anesthesia they ask what we have to write in that local anesthesia the remaining class is same only mechanism of action of local anesthesia local anesthesia First, while giving this local lidocaine, we can under first we can take example of lidocaine. Lidocaine administered as a local, what happens? It will blocks. It will blocks. That is already written that blocks the nerve conduction when entering through the peripheral nerve tissue. It will blocks voltage gated, voltage gated. Sodium channels, that is Na plus ions. Okay, it will block the sodium channels. What happens? This will prevents or blocks entry of sodium channel, sodium ions from outside to inside. Okay, once it will block the voltage gated sodium ions. Then it will block the entry of sodium ions from outside to the inside. Then what happens? There will be a uh, after that uh, lignol lignol property or local property initiated. Finally, there is a loss of sensation. That is temporary. Okay. See, once you can administer this local as example, if you again, it will block the voltage gated sodium ions. It will once it is blocked, it will prevent the entry of uh, sodium ions from outside to the inside. It will be completely blocked. That will that is part. Then after that, there is a lignocaine property or local anesthesia property is initiated. Okay. After that, there is a loss of sensation where we have to administer. That is un temporarily. This is called methods of action of local anesthesia. Understand? This is entire about the ten marks question. That what we have to discuss here. First, we can discuss uh, what is anesthesia and what is general anesthesia. What can see here? This one. Anesthesia drugs. What is definition? What do we mean by general anesthesia? What do we mean by local anesthesia? This is first part in the definition we have to write. And after that, we are we are we have to write the classification of general anesthesia and local anesthesia this is entire classification we have to classify then local anesthesia local anesthesia this is local anesthesia classification after general anesthesia we have to write this local anesthesia classification and uh, next If they ask separate GA general anesthesia, first we have to write definition stages of general anesthesia. Next, I will take example of one that is called allergy. Write the mechanism of action and then the pharmacological action, then side effects. If they ask lidocaine mechanism of action, that is very different from the general anesthesia. We have to write this because of it is given to the peripheral nerve tissue. So that's why it will be different from the general anesthesia of the lidocaine mechanism of action. Okay, this is about today's class. That is uh, uh, all about this anesthesia. Is it okay? Thank you. We can discuss the next class that is called anti-convulsant drugs.